Hi, Scorpio. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, well, we have spine, <clears throat> divine timing, connect with me. Someone wants to connect with you. Could be something that's very shocking or surprising shock. What's wrong? Hoping, possibly for a different perspective. Wanting to sit down with you, wanting to meet and talk. Spying, divine time and connect with me. Shocked that they withdrew. So is someone surprised that you withdrew? Is someone waiting for you to connect with them, but you have not up until now? They're hoping that you'll have a different perspective now because they're shocked you withdrew. They're shocked that you don't want to spend time with them or talk to them or seeing them. Now they're hoping that you have a different perspective about the situation. They want to meet or talk about this. They want to get together with you. So I'm going to clarify the shock and the withdrawn. What is this? Who is okay? Eight of Swords. So yeah, someone, somebody is surprised. Or okay, now again, of course, I could be reading it backwards, but we're going to read it. Someone is surprised that you have not moved forward. That you have withdrawn. Shock. Show me what else we need to know with the withdrawn card. Because it says single, lonely, solitaire. Solitary. Oh, but maybe you were meant to be, though. There is a King of Swords under the deck. <clears throat> so it might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Shock that you have withdrawn, but you needed to. You needed to heal, or that. Star card always tells me, like, it's the right thing to do. It's the right path. But it could be an Aquarius, specifically. I'm hoping for a different perspective, wanting to sit down and talk. So show me the perspective. Show me the perspective. A relationship. Okay. So basically what it's saying is somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, Scorpio, and they're surprised that you don't want the same thing they do. They're surprised you haven't communicated with them, that you're so withdrawn. Um, we'll just clarify hoping, even though we know what hoping means. Yeah, manifesting. Wanting to manifest you. And then what about the coffee cup? Wanting to sit down with you. Now again, so again, it is a possible air sign, but again, someone who, someone's been thinking about you a lot because they've been watching you. So now they're just saying that this is time for them to reach out. Okay. I think you guys get it right. Okay. Let me do one for the King of Swords. They haven't been taking action either. They've been thinking about you though. And they want to be with you lovers. Okay. The sun is under there. So basically this person looked like to me that they weren't taking action either though. They wanted you to make the next move and they're surprised that you're not. Okay, but you weren't supposed to with the star cards I'm getting. How's this person feeling right now? How's this person? They're hooked on you. So you got them hooked. R says, already smitten, tracking you online. They want to go further. So this could be, you know, someone you've known for a while. This could be someone who, like, let's say you went on a date, but you decided not to, you know, call or pursue. Like, it's like, it's like they want you to pursue them. And they're surprised that you're not pursuing them. But they're hooked on you. They want more of you. What else? What else is this person feeling? Chaotic. So you got this person all up in their head. They're chaotic. This is all over the place. Can't make a decision. This is not very reliable, but I think this is like their head, their brain is scrambled. That you didn't, um, you haven't <clears throat> taken action towards them. Okay, what else is this person feeling? What else is this person feeling? We have afraid. So they're actually afraid, Scorpio, that you don't want them, that you don't want to be in a relationship with them, that you don't want to date them, whatever the situation is. Because for some of you, this could be someone you dated just one time and you're not interested. Others of you, this could be someone that you know well, or you've talked, you've dated, you've been together, you broke up. So either way, this person, but you know what they're doing? They're playing their cards close to their vest. They're actually playing the game because they're waiting for you. They're spying, they're waiting, and they're waiting for you to make the next move, and you're not, Scorpio. Okay, um, what is this person, what else are they feeling? <clears throat> sad. So they're afraid, they're sad. It's almost like they gave you space. Um, that was, under, was that under here? Yeah, need space is under the deck. But it's like they it may have given you space so you could clear your head, but what happened is you didn't come back around. They thought you would have a different point of view. So this person is really surprised by this. 
They want to meet and talk. So how are they feeling about Scorpio right now? How are they feeling about Scorpio right now? Well, we know they're spying. What show us with the tarot? What else? Ten of Cups. They could be going by your home. That is uh, spying on your home, your family home, whatever. Uh, they could be wanting the Ten of Cups with you, of course. Maybe they want to come home. It depends on the situation. If you guys used to live together, maybe they want to come home. Okay, how else are they feeling about Scorpio right now? Trying to make a decision. Wheel. Victory. Your person does not want to show their ego. They are, sorry, they they are afraid of letting their guard down, opening up. They don't want to do that. They were thinking you were going to be the first person, Scorpio, so they wouldn't have to. But now they're like, oh my gosh, where's Scorpio? They're not reaching out. They're not, you know, communicating with me. I don't know, is Scorpio over me? Maybe Scorpio doesn't love me anymore or whatever. You've got them all in their feelings. They're scared. Wow. Okay. What else does Scorpio need to know about this? Four of Wands, wanting that stability, looking for you, wondering, yeah, wondering what you're doing. Nine of Cups. So you got them wondering what you're doing, where you're at, who you're with, if you're sleeping with anyone, if you're dating anyone, if you're, you know, what are you doing? What is the lesson or the message here for Scorpio? I got two. So soulmate and mastery. So it says your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. You've learned the spiritual lesson. You've probably learned the lesson. The obstacle card is under the deck. I think this person's ego is in the way. Something along that line. You must have been through this before. How do you feel about this person, Scorpio? Strength kind of came out. So it could be a Leo. You may see this person as strong, stubborn. Uh, how does Scorpio feel about this person? You're listening to your intuition. You know they want commitment, but they're holding back, or you're holding back, or they're justice. Well, no, you don't like what they're doing. Three coins under the deck. This person doesn't play well with you. Like they don't like. They need to three coins work together, but they're not. They're holding back. This person definitely could play like by their own rules. They could be kind of um, bossy. They could be controlling. They have very like strict, like maybe they feel like like you guys each have strict rules in the relationship. You must stick to them, like they're very super traditional or something like that, and that just doesn't fly with you. Maybe they're being um, four coins can be um, stingy. Maybe you feel like they should be giving more. So you may a bit be just teaching them a lesson. Maybe you don't like how they're treating you. Maybe you know you know how they're feeling. You're a Scorpio. You should know how this person is feeling about you and. Um, all right, what, do, what does this person want to say to you? What does this person want to say to Scorpio? I might not have been looking. Okay. Okay, I want to treat you the way you deserve. I can't go another day without you. Hmm. And I want to make things right. So, no, I see that you're just holding out because you, again, it's kind of like you know your, your um, worth. You know what you deserve. And you're not just going to run after someone. That's not Scorpio energy. They come to you, and this person needs to treat you better. They need to put, like, all in. Um, and you know they want you. So you said they, they're they saying, I can't go another day without you. I want to make things right. So they know they've done something wrong here. And they want to treat you the way that you deserve. Because you, again, are Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles. You know your worth. It's just not about the sex, right? That's like not you want more. Maybe that's what they're trying to get away with and not putting in the effort, and you're like, uh uh. You need to put in the effort. So I think this person is coming around. They're seeing things your way, Scorpio. Okay, what else? Let me go to this deck real quick and see a card here. What does Scorpio need to know about this person or situation? What is Scorpio? What is your advice? The feminine energy. Grace. Magic, yeah. I get you're like not getting all stirred up about this. You're just, you know, doing what you need to do with the grace card. Beauty, grace, magic. It's kind of ugh. it's like you're drawing them in, Scorpio. It's like you don't really have to do anything, and you're just drawing them back to you. That magic, that you know, being subtle, that simplicity, that grace card is just like 
it just brings them back to you so you are manifesting a dream or dreams you're going through a passage right now that's an interesting passage and renewal you're going to renew something and you're going this is a card i kind of feel of you scorpio going with the flow but the passage card tells me you're going through a lesson hang on let me clarify that i'm going to extend this one i'm going to like start with their energy and see what they think and feel and go through those questions i like to ask but let's see what this passage card is here what you need to know for yourself oh going through heartbreak okay getting over heartbreak healing you don't want to be around people you want to be on your own okay so remember how the star came out and it was like you are supposed to be withdrawn you're supposed to be on your own it's okay you're where you're supposed to be at you maybe you don't realize that or maybe you have chosen to be on your own and alone and maybe it's been you know this is like working out the way it's definitely supposed to this person was not supposed to be in your space or in your area they were supposed to be on the outside waiting and kind of watching you needed to be healing perfect what else coming out the other side as the queen of wands so this is like being rejuvenated happy passionate like I always say, I like the, you know, Queen of Wands energy for all the signs. It's just, you know, I feel like the most balanced, having fun, passionate. And, yep, because that's you. So maybe you are, are oh, look at you got the Three of Swords again. So maybe you are definitely cuspers, so you come up as Sagittarius energy. But, um, yeah, I think it's kind of like to get you out of your emotions. I feel like this is, like, too emotional and being stuck in that emotion and needing to get to more of that Queen of Wands energy. And they're watching you. See, they're watching you. And the King of Swords is under this deck. So they're just, they're in this deck too. They're just watching you. And holding back with the Four of Coins. How funny. He looks kind of like he's pouting in this deck. But they want to charge ahead. They want to come in. But that's the Devil energy with the Ten of Pentacles. It's kind of like they just want to like charge in and take control, but you're not letting them. Or they actually haven't done anything yet, is what I'm getting. Person feels a little jealous here with the devil and the ten of pentacles. Under the deck is the hermit. All right, I think I'm going to extend this one to see what this person is thinking, feeling, doing, how they feel about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, um, what any pitfalls in this situation could be, where spirit sees this heading, and any, any other messages I channel for you, Scorpio. So I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.